Hey guys, I'm back today to share with you another project that I was able to finally complete. So this is a folio and an envelope that I created, and this is going to be a set. I will be listing these in my Zibit shop if anyone is interested, and the link to that is always below in all my videos. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I did is I made this envelope here from a piece of Prima paper. This is from the, what is it called? I think it's Poetic Love or something like that. No, not love. I honestly can't remember off the top of my head, <laughs> but um, it's like the, the A4 size paper. So uh, what I had done, basically just folded it up and made a pocket. And I did sew around all the edges or, you know, the edge to make the pocket and then just give it some designs up here. I did a little collaging here at the bottom and then uh, collage the front. So this little ticket, this flower and this little tape measure piece, it's just a die cut, is also from the uh, collection. So I just use that and then just use some other trims and stuff from my stash to decorate it. So that's the back. Really cute. You could put little notes and stuff in here. But I just thought that came out super cute. So this is the first item. And then this is the folio that I did. I love the way that this came out. I think it's so cute. Um, so the base of this, I used some craft they're kind of like glassine type bags i used i believe four to make the book um and then i just used some different paper and stuff from uh the same collection from prima and then the flowers and the chipboard the tickets and all that is all from the collection and then just the trims and stuff are from my stash I just love the way that this came out. I think it's so cute. I love the paper. I think it's really pretty and shabby and just cute. So I was really happy with the way that this came out. Um, wish I could keep it, but I can't. So um, I did use this coordinating. It didn't come with it. This is just from my stash. This ribbon right here as a closure. I have a lot of it here to make it bigger or smaller. So when you open it up. Just have to untie it. So I just hope I'm in frame here. So when you open it up, it looks like this. Um, each page has a pocket on the side. So in this first pocket here, there's goodies. So um, it just has some paper goodies. And then this is a little mini journal that I did. Again, using the same paper collection, some of the cutouts, and then just some trims from my stash. So that's the front, that's the back, and then inside looks like this. So there's just different pages and stuff in here. There's lots of room to write and add pictures. So really cute. So this measures about four and an eighth by about five so it's not too big not too small so these are the goodies that will be in the first pocket and this pocket does have this really pretty trim here on the edge so when you open this first page this is blank so you know you could add all kinds of stuff to it this side does have a little pocket here so it just looks like that and then just some collaging on it and then has some of the same trim as the tie on this side and this side and all this side also has some pink pom-pom trim so inside of this next page pocket show you guys so there is this coffee filter that i altered so you could add it as a pocket or use it on another project it's one of those flat kind of um, coffee filters um just use some different paper and this is a chipboard from the collection and then just this other stuff is from my own stash inked it up some so I left the back plain in case you want to glue it down um, but it's nice and big so uh, you'll get that you'll get this altered library card tag 
I just have some more pieces from the collection, some paper and a cutout, and then I just added some trim. Here's the A guest check. And then there's just this cutout right here. So this is all the goodies that are in the second pocket. So there's that, okay. When you turn the page, this is the middle. This is what it looks like. So I added some trims to each side. There's some more of the same side trim. There's some pearls and just different laces. Really cute. And then inside of this next pocket has another journal that I did, which is really cute. It's again using the same things from the collection. Uh, when you open this one, it does have a little pocket right here. And then the pages are not decorated, but I did use different types of paper. <clears throat> and then here's another little tuck spot right there. And this paper is so cute. So that's in that pocket. And then here is the next page. Again, I kind of left this plain so you kind of have free reign of whatever you want to do with it. Uh, I did add some trim again on both sides and a little piece right here. This trim is really cute. It's just from my stash And then this last pocket has <clears throat> Let's see here It has this uh, tag that I did it is um, Just a collage of different things. So there's trim or there's paper and then there's a chipboard piece from the collection. And then I just made this little flower here. That's what the back looks like. So there's this tag. There is this tag that basically is all collaged on the front. And then that's the back. And then you'll get one of these Alter tea bags that I've been showing you guys. So it looks like that. And then again, just some more pieces from the collection. Really cute. So that's what's in the that pocket. And then this is the back. So really cute. I'm really happy with the way that it came out. Again, this will be listed in my shop if anyone is interested. Um, so yeah, this is a set that I did. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, just leave any questions or comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.